So uh, let's try this second one. It says calculate the wavelength of a helium atom whose speed is equal to the root mean square speed at 20 degrees Celsius. Okay. So, well, this is kind of giving us a clue as to say, what do we need to figure out? Well, what is the root mean squared speed of a helium atom at this particular temperature? Okay. So, in order to do that, of course, you need to know, well, what is the root mean squared um, formula? So, mu um, average or root mean squared is going to be 3 RT divided by molar mass to the one half, so square root. Okay, so we need to know all this stuff. T has to be in Kelvin, so plus 273, 293 Kelvin. Okay. R, well that's going to be the 8.314 R joules per mole Kelvin, so that gives you a clue as to what temperature you got. Um, molar mass, so what did they say? This was helium. So if we look up at our periodic table, it's going to be 4.003 grams per mole. Okay? Um, we're going to have to get rid of joules and convert this to kilograms as well. You'll see that in a second. Okay? Um, remember, one joule equals one kilogram meter squared per second squared, like that, okay? So if you want to, let's um, take that uh, uh, formula here, this conversion factor, and make it just one line on each side. So one joule second squared equals one kilogram meter squared. It'll be easier to use. Okay? So if you see that just algebraically manipulating that. Okay, so this kind of clues us in as to, well, we need this in kilograms. Okay? So, Well, let's just do that in the problem. We'll just do it. Okay. So here we've got three. So R eight point three one four joules per one mole. Kelvin. And then what do we say? Well, we've got to convert. Okay, so we want joules on the bottom. So one joule second squared, one kilogram meter squared, like that. Okay. T, 293 Kelvin, all divided by, well, what did we say? 4.003 grams per one mole. 1,000 grams per kilogram. Okay? And then we're going to take that all up to the one half. Let's see what we can cancel out here. So, joules cancels with joules, Kelvin cancels with Kelvin, um, moles cancels with moles, grams cancels with grams, kilograms cancels with kilograms, and remember we're looking for uh, average velocity, right? So meters per second is a good unit, and that's what we got. Meters squared per second squared, and then we're going to take the square root of that. Okay. So let's calculate this together. 
And I'm just going to leave this at whatever number of sig figs it comes out to be. So 3 times 3.3.4. Okay, and then take the square root of that answer. And so like I said, I'm going to keep this to as many sig figs as I want. So 1351 meters per second. Okay, so that's the root mean square root of a helium atom by itself. Okay, so now we have to uh, use the de Broglie equation to figure out the wavelength from the information that we got. So do you remember the de Broglie equation? Okay, so it's um, lambda equals H over M whoops. Yeah, like that. Okay. So that's what we just figured out here. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So that's what we're going to put here. And what are we looking for? We're looking for this wavelength here. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to erase this stuff here so I can use that part of the board. Is that all right? That's yeah, fine. Can you remember that 1351? I'll write it somewhere else. Okay, so, well, what else do we need? We need to know what Planck's constant is. Okay, that's going to be given to you. 6.636 times 10 to the negative 34 joules seconds. Okay? Um, the mass of a helium atom. Well, from the periodic table, it's 4.003 AMU, right? But we're going to need this in kilograms, okay? So for every 1 AMU, we get 1.661 times 10 to the negative 24th grams, like that. Okay, so that's a conversion factor that you're going to be given on the test. And of course, for every 1,000 grams, you've got 1 kilogram. Why are we doing that? Because we're going to have to convert um, into uh, kilograms, okay? So, um, let's see. Okay, let's start just plugging stuff in, and if we need to use anything else to convert, okay, we'll do. Okay, so let's figure out what this number is first. So six point six 
four nine times ten to the negative twenty seven kilograms. Like that. Okay. So um, let's plug in. So wavelength equals uh, six point six two six times ten to the negative thirty fourth joules seconds. Okay? But we want to convert joules so we can get rid of those mass units. Okay? So remember our conversion factor from before on joules. Okay? So we're going to use that. So joules at the bottom, one joule second squared, one kilogram meter squared. Okay? So divide that by the mass that we just got, 6.649 times 10 to the negative 27th kilograms, times the root mean square, speed, 13.51 meters per one second. Okay? So let's start canceling stuff. Okay, so kilograms cancels with kilograms. Seconds cancels with one second there. This seconds cancels with the other seconds there. Okay? Joules cancels with joules. Meters cancels with one of the meters. And we're left with meters. Okay? So meters, is that a good wavelength unit? Yes. yes okay, because it's a length. Okay? So I'm actually going to convert this into a smaller um, unit. Okay, um, more than likely picometers from what I can remember. Okay, so we're going to multiply. And let's see, 6.626. Okay, so I get 7.626. So remember, this was actually the three sig figs, so that's what we're going to use. 7.38 times 10 to the negative 11 meters, like that, okay? But let's convert this to picometers. So for every um, one meter, you have one times 10 to the 12 picometers, like that. Okay, so cancel, cancel, and that's going to turn this into 73.8 picometers. Okay, so that's the wavelength of the helium atom at the root mean squared speed that it would be at 20 degrees Celsius. Are there any questions about that one? No. Okay, you just got to go through these formulas, dot, 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 dot. Okay. Cool. I'm gonna kill it. Yeah.